हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम रविंदर मंडान फाउंडर एंड सी ओ सेलकोनिक कंपनी फाइनली सेलकोनिक लॉन्च इट्स न्यू 50 किलोवाट हाई वोल्टेज इन्वर्टर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू ऑल द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस इन्वर्टर इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड हिट द बेलाइकन एज वेल ओके लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो नाउ वेन यू ओपन दिस इन्वर्टर यू विल गेट द असेसरीज फर्स्ट वन यू गेट इट्स स्टैंड टू डू द वोल हैंगिंग नेक्स्ट यू गेट आ वाई फाई लोगर स्टिक नेक्स्ट यू गेट द पैरल केबल विच यू नीड टू पैरल दिज इन्वर्टर अप टू टेन यूनिट्स नेक्स्ट यू विल गेट द मैनुअल नेक्स्ट देर आर मैनी एम सी फोर कनेक्टर फॉर इट्स एम पी पी टी Here you get the L key to open the screw. Yeah, this is very heavy. Uh, here you get the battery connector and the fastener rod for wall hanging. Here you find the three CTs. And for this inverter, CT is pretty much big. You can see here it's 300 ampere CT. so if we calculate in kilowatt it's 60 kilowatt ct so you will get the 3 ct like this because it's a three phase inverter so now finally this is the front look of the inverter on top you will get the celtronic badging here and right down here galaxy 7g it's the seventh generation hybrid inverter and here you get the hv series hybrid inverter if we look left side of the inverter there is wifi port and here are two isolators this is the first inverter of celtronic which gets the two isolator because here is 4 mppt and on each isolator you will get the two mppt as well because this inverter can handle 65 kilowatt of solar panel and here you get the on off switch to turn on and off the inverter if we see right side of the inverter it's empty you will get the serial number of the inverter and only the data sheet of the inverter Now look at the bottom side of the inverter you hear about the dual mppt inverter but it is the first time you are seeing a dual battery inverter yes this inverter can handle dual battery separately here you can see two batteries connector plus minus plus minus positive negative positive negative and if we talk about the battery range of this inverter its battery range vary from 160 volt to 850 volt and if we talk about the charging and discharging power so it have 50 ampere charging and discharging power for both the batteries if we connect both the batteries then we get combinedly 100 ampere charging and discharging power so now the question arise here can we connect our lead acid battery on this inverter so no we cannot connect our lead acid battery on this inverter we can connect only lithium iron phosphate battery in high voltage on this inverter and for this inverter celtronic is going to launch its new galaxy 7g high voltage stacked battery each battery module will be 102.4 volt and you can stack those battery up to 7 in a rack and finally we will get 760 volt in one rack so you can add separately two different rack on these battery ports okay now move to the bottom here you get the many mppts here so basically this inverter have four mppt and on each mppt you can parallel two string so it can handle totally 65 kilowatt of solar panel and if we talk about the ampere each mppt can handle 55 ampere of current and if we talk about the voltage range here so this inverter voltage range is very high up to 1000 volt next you get the three com port com 1 com 2 and com 3 these ports are basically for the wires that wires you use for uh, to parallel the inverter or for the battery bms so you can cross those wires from these ports at the bottom you get the biggest port 1 2 and 3 now we first talk about this port this is load port so you can use this port as a normal load for the inverter you can connect your light load like your fan your light your tv all the light load you can connect with this port and next one is gen port so it's basically used for three work first of all you can connect generator 
to this port and if you do not have any generator you can take the output from this port and you can use it as a smart load and third one you can connect on grid inverter on this port as well and third port is our grid port so you can give inverter the ac input with this port now i want to tell you about these two ports how we can use these two ports first on this port we can connect our light load like our light tv fan all the critical load of your home on this port now this gen port you can connect your heavy load on this port like your air condition your geyser your motor now what happen if we set a soc here and uh, when battery goes down below that soc heavy load shut off automatically and your normal load work here normally so basically what's the idea here if you use these two loads for your home load then it shut down before your normal load then you will never get any blackout for your home forever now it's time to open the inverter and look in the inside see this is look like this inverter from the inside if you see the size of this battery wire it is 10 mm wire so you can get this kind of wire in high voltage only if you compare this wire from low voltage inverter if we take example of 5 kilowatt inverter for the same battery you will get 25 mm of wire for only 5 kilowatt load but in this high voltage inverter in 50 kilowatt inverter you will get only 10 mm of wire because here voltage is higher and amperes are low so first see this here you get the ct ports for ct1 for ct2 and for ct3 and the next you will get the meter port here if you want to connect an external meter with this and the next you will get the parallel 1 and parallel 2 if you want to parallel these inverters up to 10 units you can use these ports <coughs> next you will get the can port you can connect this can port with the battery can port and next to this you will get drm port and the next you will get the two bms1 and bms2 two port here because this inverter comes with dual battery so for each battery there are two separate bms port and the next one is rs485 port see this red switch this red switch is dip switch so when you parallel this inverter you can on and off according to parallel situation if we look at the bottom side here you get the load port the load neutral load l1 load l2 and load l3 the same here you will get the generator port generator l1 l2 l3 and generator neutral and down there you will get the grid port grid neutral grid l1 l2 l3 so you can give input here and you can take output from these two ports at many ports here the first port is g start so you can connect your generator to start and stop uh, with this port and next one is dry one and dry two port and the next one is rapid shutdown plus and minus port and the next one is shut down b positive and b negative now question arise how much units of this inverter we can do parallel so we can parallel up to 10 units to this inverter and we can make a giant 500 kilowatt inverter yes a single unit of 500 kilowatt we can make by parallel this 10 units of 50 kilowatt inverter so it's a huge amount of power and if you want to run a 1 megawatt 2 megawatt 3 megawatt up to any scale you can use this inverter over there too now the next question arise where we can use this high voltage inverter so we can use this high voltage inverter in schools in hospitals in factories where you get the load of 100 kilowatt 200 kilowatt 500 kilowatts so now you have the technology and you can do your projects with this high voltage inverter it will take you a very much less space and will give you a high output and the next question is how much warranty we get for this inverter so it comes in standard 5 year warranty and you can take up to 10 year warranty for this inverter if you pay 25% extra amount to the company now let's talk about how much load this inverter can handle this inverter can handle total 50 kilowatt of load when it's 
work as off grid inverter yes it can handle your total 50 kilowatt of load in off grid mode and if we talk about the on grid mode it can sell your 55 kilowatt of power yes more than its capacity it can sell 55 kilowatt of power and if we talk about how much solar panel you officially connect with this inverter so you can connect 65 kilowatt of solar panel with this inverter and if you have more than 65 kilowatt of inverter you can connect those solar panels too because you get the 55 ampere of per mppt so if you calculate the ampere you can connect more panels to this inverter like you can go for 70 kilowatt 75 kilowatt 80 kilowatt up to 90 kilowatt you can connect on this inverter easily so finally if you come into the high voltage technology what benefit actually you will get first of all if we go into the high voltage technology we can make the inverter in lighter weight and in compact size and if you install this project instead of installing the 10 units of 5 kilowatt inverter you need only one unit of this giant inverter so the final verdict is that with this new high voltage technology now you can do your big projects now how you can buy this inverter so there are two ways to buy this inverter first one is online and second one is offline If you want to buy this inverter online you can visit our website www.selconic.com and if you are an android user you can download our selconic app so you can buy from the app also and if you want to buy this product offline you can call us on the given below number and you can email us on contact@selconic.com then company can provide you your nearest dealer and distributor number if you enjoy this video please like and share this video Thank you very much for watching.